All right, here we go, you guys. Tasty Tuesdays are back. We've got venison backstrap stuffed with fresh crab meat, lobster tail, garlic. Then we've got roasted cauliflower sauteed asparagus. It's all wrapped up in applewood smoked bacon with some fresh rosemary. Check it out, it's happening right now. All right, so we're gonna make a little bit of a marinade for our crab and lobster tail. That's about four cloves of large garlic, or four large cloves of garlic, however you want to call it. You said the same thing twice. But I wasn't using my hands the first time. Oh, oh, okay. Tonight's theme will be Everglades heat. I've been shopping at Publix for like the last six months and they've not had Everglades heat. I was there today and they had it. So we're just gonna season this up. And the camera woman is back, filming in action. This is for all my New Englanders, Maine lobster tail. Um, I've already split the top and I'm just gonna pop the meat right out of the shell. Come right out, good. Do this one the same way. So there's our two lobster tails and there's our crab meat. What kind of crab? This is picked blue crab. And if you wanna see how we catch our blue crabs, Check out one of these videos over here, crabbing in the Loxhatchee River. Take it off the heat, because I don't want to really cook it too much more. Just lay that in there. Mm. All we're gonna do is just season this lobster up. Okay, so if you look real close, you can tell how much flavor has been absorbed by the lobster. It's not cooked, it's just absorbed all that flavorful garlic butter. Come over here, set it right there. Now we're gonna finish this off with our crab. I do want to make it a little hotter. And now we'll just mix in the garlic, the crab, and the butter. All right, well, Rob's in there getting the fire going. Uh, 250 degrees and I guess we're gonna get it somewhere in the four or five hundred. I'm not sure Rob will tell me but uh, just put a little bit of a taster on there for now. Okay so there's our beautiful backstrap. We've removed almost all the silver skin and for those of you who don't agree with eating wild game, I don't know where your meat comes from but this meat came from a soybean field in South Georgia. This was organic before organic was cool, and I love it. All right, you don't wanna cut it all the way in half. So take a small boning knife or paring knife, stick it in, and make yourself a pocket. Just like that. And what you're left with is a nice pocket. You can, just like that, beautiful. So that almost looks like a pita shell. And here is one of the lobster tails. We'll cut it in half. Stick the lobster tail right in there, just like that. This is gonna be so good. <laughs> oh my gosh. And that is goat cheese. Squeezes out. We want it to lay right inside there, just like that. Wonderful. Then, you just want to make it all fall in love. Just like that. Sort of use your hands and stack it. Just like that. And then we're going to take our crab meat. No filler. That's just crab, garlic, butter, and Everglades heat. Take your goat cheese, roll it. How, how do you do the patty cake? Pa roll, <laughs> roll it, it. <laughs> pat it, mark it with the B, put it in the back strap for you and me. <laughs> There's your cheese. Might put just a little bit more in there. Just like that. Roll it up nice and tight, just like that. Whew. Beautiful. I just can't express to y'all in words how good this smells. 
and is gonna be. Now we're gonna roll it. Take out some, take out some bacon like that and make yourself a little bed of bacon just like that. All right, so we've got our bed of bacon and then you'll take one of your stuffed tenderloins or stuffed back straps just like that. Fold it over one way, just like that. How good does that look? Take you some skewers, just like this. Perfect. <laughs> so this is our crab backstrap. And it's very important that you make all of them go this way, then all of them come back this way. It just makes everything so much more uniform. Whammy. Okay, so through the magic of time, I'm gonna make these look like that. Just like that, there it is. They're all ready to go. Now the good thing about this, I can literally shut off the air. So even as the oil from the from the bacon drips down, it won't flame up. This is gonna be so good. Three hundred fifty degrees. Woo! Look at that. Look how pretty this is. Oh man! That looks so good. Leave it in there for about 10 more minutes. Aria's getting her brain food. Yeah, I'm getting my brain food too, but I wanna tell all you guys that if you watched the crabbing video when we were out in Washington and you saw me rip their shell off before they were officially dead, they had been in a cooler full of ice I'm like, what the heck? These are like Iron Man crab. And so what I did was I just cleaned them as fast as I could, ripped their head off, and I apologize if it seemed cruel or harsh, but we only kept what we needed and we cleaned them as fast as possible. So they were delicious. All right. Look at that. Will you look at that? Will you look at that? Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna cut to make sure this is done right. Perfect. That's perfect. The thicker they are, the less done they will be. So if somebody wants one of the one that's more well done, just go to a smaller piece of meat. Okay, so that came out absolutely perfect. Nice medium, medium rare meat, asparagus, roasted cauliflower, fresh rosemary. Now let's eat. Lord, I sure do thank you for a wonderful day. And thank you for all this wonderful food. Please nurse it to our body and forgive us of our sins. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. All right, let's see what you guys think. Look at that. The thicker one will be more rare, and then the thinner it gets, the more done it will be. Perfect. Ooh. Mm -hmm. That's good. Is it really? Mm. The largest this in the middle. Mmm. Absolutely delicious. What do you think? It's okay. <laughs> it's very good. That main lobster's, uh, I mean, we're used to our other ones, but <laughs> the main lobster's good too. Is there a difference? So what do you think, Paul? Mm -hmm. My mouth is full. Mm -hmm. <laughs> delicious. Really, really good. 
Good deal. Good. No sauces added, nothing. Mm. I like the smoky bacon. And then you get the flavor of the crab. Yeah, and lobster in between. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then Amazing. the meat. Hashtag that don't suck. <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, this was a uh, this was a huge success. What do y'all think? It's delicious. Oh yeah. Thumbs Say up. Thumbs up. Two of them. Huh? It was really good. Yeah. Say thumbs up. We literally destroyed all that food. And I want to tell you all, thank you so much for being so patient with the channel. We're gonna start getting really motiva motivated with our Tasty Tuesdays because clearly y'all loved those. And to everybody out there that's, you know, gearing up for deer season right now, you know, sometimes you just wanna throw it in a slow cooker and come home and it be done. Sometimes you wanna just fry it up and eat it with some mashed potatoes and gravy. But then sometimes you wanna do it a little special. And I'm giving you my word, do it like this. Just try it. You'll be amazed at how good it is. You could have put any kind of sauce on top of it, but it really didn't need it. it came out fantastic. Little hint, maybe put it in one of your slow cookers in a, in a smoker, smoke it with some apple wood. It was pretty amazing. Anyway, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. We'll see you soon. We gone. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs>